Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by Eastern folk. Uh, yes. Alright, so what does the Brigand 16 pounder give? 2 speed, 10% damage on range, and crit. Okay, so basically good for Arbalest, Musketeer, Highwaymen. Uh, what are some other range classes with good damage? I just label all of them already. Wait, crit and speed. Actually, good for the Hunter Master too. Hmm. All right, but what team do I want to bring into the sixteen pounder? I could bring in the same again. You know, actually, maybe I want to bring in a a vestal or one of the crimson curse vestals because they're the only ones with Hippocratic for better healing. I prefer one with better speed with the uh, Luminous. Uh, I forgot to remove Anemic, but oh well. And then definitely Shield Breaker again as usual. So who's the plus one going to be? I'm kind of thinking about... I'm thinking about bringing in Seraph as the Houndmaster. You have Luminous and On Guard. I mean, you have Toph. Bring in Cab again or bring in Summer? Hey, Summer has Wheeled Adventure. So that we get minus stress. Although, ah, uh, minus stress. Not too bad. Hmm. What happened, guys? 700 videos in your playlist and 9 videos that don't exist. Mm. You know, there's one thing I wished that uh, YouTube did with deleted videos in your playlist. Like, I wish they still had, like, the title of what used to be there. Like, I know that they wouldn't have the video or anything like that, but at least, like, the title so you know what it was you had in your playlist. So you can remember to look for it again elsewhere or something. That always bothered me. Like... Sure, like, you, you, they deleted from their database and servers and everything, but it's just like... I, I really wish they'd just leave us a name. Can't even remember the link. You ensure to have a text file of all of your song titles. <laughs> uh, that's why... This is why I download my music, so I don't have to worry about that. I was like, who is revving their engine newer and newer? Huh, someone's going for a joyride. Alright, alright, so... Do I want to go for... Summer... Well, I feel like, uh... I'd want to go for a Senkai... <laughs> you gonna go ahead out, Tenkai? Have a good Blood Curse stream. Wow. <laughs> Alright, have a nice one, Tenkai. See you later. You're gonna need to bring stuff. Alright, see you later too, Skylark. Don't let the RNG get to you. Yeah, part of me is feeling like bringing in Patchy again. Or maybe this time I can bring in... Bring in my Highwayman. Because, uh, he is pretty godly. Well, if he wasn't wasting away with the Crimson Curse. Because <laughs> he would have 7 speed. He has unerring for damage. Extra heal receive. Extra dodge and move resist. He has pretty much everything. Mm. 
Although I would want a mark build for this though. Actually, hmm. Ooh, what do I want? I mean, I did mention Seraph, but any alternatives? Because it's gonna be a slow fight if it's gonna if it's gonna be like this. Because we only have two DPSs while Blade is building up our uh, finale for six, seven turns. <laughs> Alright, let's go again. So, the usual with extra dodge and HP to ensure survivability. This two... Extra speed... Although, I think I don't really need this anymore, so how about... Offering focus protection... Accuracy and protection... Oh. Excuse me. How about extra speed and range accuracy? And I think we would probably prefer the Houndmaster Collar for more damage and bleed skill chance. I guess I should get two speed as well. Do I... I minus my damage? So either minus my damage... Or take something else. I forget, did the Brigand... Did the Brigand 16 pounder have stun, bad stuns? I know they have a lot of damage. Maybe I should get the Ancestor's Ring? Because then when we camp and get protection, and then we can stack even more protection with Snakeskin, that's like 30... 45% protection, I believe, with more health. And we get some base accuracy to boot. Like, no conditional about it. And I think with Seraph, like, even though... Uh, actually, we're not going to be doing Marked. I guess I would go back for the Impale, probably. Maybe Adder's Kiss. Hmm. Actually, hmm. Well, I'm going to use the excuse that we fought the Brigand before I'm look up the previous versions. <laughs> I kind of forgot what it does. I know that, you know, obviously fires the cannon and stuff. So it fires the cannon or doesn't. <laughs> Big surprise. Hmm. So you can't really blight the... You can't really blight the, uh... Cannon. Hmm. Because you would think that you can blight it so that, you know, it eats away at the... You know... Cannon and melts it down partially, right? I don't know. Hmm, so if that's the case, then... Okay, so then Summer would be on cannon duty. While Seraph constantly lays down Hound's Harry to frequently build up the bleed stacks on the adds. And finish them off if necessary. Although... Hmm... 
Actually, I feel like I want to bring a man at arms. For the extra dodge and accuracy buffs and everything, more than slowly building up a finale eventually. Should I just skip on the idea of... Hmm. Maybe I should have a Hellion? Could do a Hellion and then replace the Jester with an Arbalist or Musketeer. So that I'd have more DPSs and everything. And also I'd have a secondary healer. Arbalist, Hellion. Because we because the Hellion will be good for base damage, uh since Hellions tend to have a lot of, or pack a lot of damage to begin with. Especially if I bring in... Uh, I can bring in uh, this Hellion, I can bring in Illogic, because he has 10% natural damage upgrade among other things. 20% damage. More stress versus humans, bought to live with it. Because I could basically keep using the regular attacks, or if it bleeds, to uh, deal with adds. But then, I was thinking about having a flagellant to have easy access to either or the front or the back to deal with adds and still do a little bit of damage, but. Uh, it's not going to do anything to the cannon though, which is why I'm kind of eh about it. I was thinking about the Highwaymen, but I prefer having the Highwaymen in, like, Mark team setups, but that means I'd have to bring in a Cultist, or... Uh, I mean, I guess I could bring in... Bring in an Arbalist or Musketeer to do that, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Or maybe I should just keep this as is, probably. Keep this as is, or replace the Houndmast. Hmm. Part of me that does think about bringing in the Abomination. Hmm. You know, good damage when we need it. You can deal with adds, either slowly kill them or keep them in check with the chains. And then when DPS race uh, comes into play, we can transform immediately and start doing more damage. So we can do that too. Actually, you know what? I might consider that. Or I can just say screw it and have double shield breaker, but eh. Hmm. It's also the grave robber, I don't think that's the right choice for the brigand. Yeah, I guess I'll keep this set up because we got two big damage dealers and we can manage the stress from the Abomination uh, depending on what happens on the way to the boss and all that. Alright, I'd say we go for it. Oh wait, I just... Oh, whoops. Time to re-equip everyone. Bad habit.
take the goblet, and take the overture box. And as for you, you're gonna take more damage and speed, and even more damage and minus one speed. Minus stress inflicted on party on transform. So other heroes get plus eight, but we can reduce that down to roughly six. Because trans, although we have a jester, so we don't really need to worry about that. Oh. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say we're fine with this. Oh yeah, we have Tone Death though, and I didn't fix that. Oh, that's gonna piss me off for quite a while. Okay, let me see the face. Anything cross the belly. Let's see, Seraph. I just wanna cure this off you. I don't wonder if I should Keep Hippocratic so that I can keep Seraph, uh, Seraph's heal decent. Cause I, actually, does this round up to a 10? Or is it just round up to a 9 in terms of heal? Hmm. Actually, wait, if I usually bring the collar on Seraph, that actually reduces it, so it rebalances to 8? Hmm. This, uh... Oh yeah, I want to get rid of Anemic, but that means I'd have to get rid of... Or, that basically mean... Oh no no, I'd ha- Oh no no no, I have you on the quest already, so I can't do that. Unquiet mind... Tucker it out... Yeah, I can deal with that. No cheat, nothing, golly, light sensitive, I might want to remove that. So light sensitive on Kigali. Ophobe, Tipler and whatever. Xenophobia, stress heal. Yeah, I also had some other people in mind to fix up. Oh. Guess not. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna remove some random stuff from people who aren't gonna curse. Real tactician. Disc, Healer's Gift, Lurker, Nymphomania. Better Fighter, not worth it. Calcatron, Slugger, Tipler, Rolling Drink. Nah, I guess we don't really need to do any more treatments. Anyone that's stressed out? Not necessarily. Hmm. Oh, the frames of the trinkets are animated? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of them have, like, animated frames and stuff for, like, the little lights and stuff circling around them. That's pretty neat. I give that extra bit of shine to indicate rarity. Alright, so I think I'll roll with this setup. Did I forget? Oh, wait. There we go. Also, double checking your stuff. I take all this. I'm uh, thinking about Adder's Kiss because I wouldn't want to impale everything. It's not going to do enough.
see the quickening, resistance, pep talk. Cannot be marked. Okay, I think we're good. Time for another boss. Okay, for sure, we need to bring in... We need to leave in some blood, huh? I'm gonna leave in three, just in case. Because I believe you're craving, right? Yeah, you're craving. So, we already have some free food, thankfully. Thanks to the granary. So I think I'll go in with 20 food. Uh, four shovels, because you'll never know. Taking a bunch of medicinal herbs just in case. Actually, I might want to buy out the whole stack because the spawns for the brigand can. They can constantly spawn in the guys who shank a lot. So I wouldn't want to deal with the bleeds too often. And I don't think there's anything that really uses anti venomism. Yeah, not from the brigand themselves. Let's bring like three just in case and I'll ditch it if I get near the boss. And you gotta have keys. We might find effigies. Definitely bringing in the rest of my... Maybe I'll want one each just scale. Or just bring them all anyways. And then torches. Yeah, it does seem like overkill, but... Mm. Yeah, I'd say let's go. So wait, one last check for inventory. Okay. Eager to end the tiresome domestic distraction, I instructed my newly formed militia of hardened bandits, brigands, and killers to go forth and do their work. Compliance and order were restored, and the noisome population of the hamlet was culled to more manageable numbers. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. I just realized I said all that when my mic was moving because I was eating. <laughs> But yeah, we have split paths here, but I have a feeling that it's going to be up here since it's a longer hallway to the boss than this one. Or maybe the distance of the hallways don't matter for the boss, but nah, that's just my I guess. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Give me that loot. Oh, wrong. Damn it! <laughs> what am I eating? Uh, I'm just eating some chips. Nothing much. It's like some shrimp chips that, like, a family friend gave uh, gave to my mom and stuff. Like, apparently, it's like imported from Vietnam or something, and you actually fry it yourself and. After you uh, fry in some oil or something, uh, they turn out pretty huge, <laughs> and they're really tasty, like really shrimpy flavor, and I love it. Except for those little parts in the middle where you like you just take like a bite of like just like a small ball of black pepper that's not ground up or anything, and I'm just like, eh, like that amount of pepper in one ball it just like messes with your taste buds. It's like, oh, dog, get it out of here. <laughs> like, I like black pepper, but not when I try to bite into some food tasting one thing, and then a little pepper ball, like, ball of black pepper just ends up be getting crunched up, and I just taste nothing but black pepper with, like, some, like, 
basically a sharp needle feeling in my mouth going like Ugh. it overrides all the good taste I was just experiencing earlier it's like oh, oh. yeah like aside from that little minor thing though yeah these, these ships are pretty good Stun potentially. A decisive oh. pummeling. Oh no, you're resistant on the crit though. Oh. Oh, eye for an eye. Alright, they're out for blood. Inspiration and improvement. Oh wait, don't forget to carry it off. Do I go for the kill again? Or stun? Actually, no, you're resisting stuns. Their oh, formation I is broken. Maintain the offensive. Actually, adders And a 19. Hmm? Actually. Nah, not enough. Not like this. Ow. Alright, let's start reducing that stress before it builds up in the future rooms. And you're dead already, right? Yeah, you're dead, so we can just stress heal and be done with it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Mm, blood vials, you say. Grave digging. Do I really want to do grave digging? We still got the rest of the dungeon to go. I have no room anyways, and I have no plans on sacrificing things just yet. Well struck. Hmm? Wait, what's that song? Sounds like how most people make pepper cream sauce. Very mounted by the pepper ball. <laughs> imagine the Christmas Raider probably imagine something. Yeah, like those like the pepper balls and the I don't know, you don't really see them, but then like every now and then some don't get ground up quite well enough compared to the rest of them and then after you fry it up, it's like, huh, what's that little black spot in the in, in this chip? As I could Take a crunch, you're like, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> then you just need to wash it down. Either wash it down with a drink or just more chips. <laughs> uh, let's see, what are we doing? Am I chancing a stun on the giant? Or am I gonna try to RNG a crit? Uh, I know what. Lethal! Three, one off lethal. I'm still gonna lay down a smackdown soon. Oh, okay. Quad dodge. Quad dodge. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That <laughs> spicy hot. Yeah, I've been taking some baby steps uh, to getting more or to getting used to some spicy stuff. Impressive. Oh, not too much, but like just been trying to like how do I word this? Like just get more accustomed to having spicy stuff around. Like either like getting tiny bits of chili pepper in my food or getting chili oil or like actually like spicy chili oil and mixing with my soups and stuff it, it's slow progress but it's still something as silly as this sounds like I cannot handle spice for the life of me so 
Uh, I'm kind of proud of any kind of progress I make in that regard. If I can eat wasabi with a teaspoon, then I'm a champ. <laughs> like the uh, legit wasabi, right? Not like the uh, horse. Actually, what, what do they use uh, instead of wasabi usually? Like horseradish or something as a substitute since they don't have the legit one? But yeah, I don't. I think I've only had the legit like wasabi once when I was in when I was in LA visiting my my brother and we went to some sushi place. I really don't want to transform, but I might not might not have a choice at this rate. I feel like with all this progressing, I'm gonna have to block. Oh, I can start the finale right now, actually. Precision and power. You put wasabi and ginger on your sushi? Huh. I usually never put a uh, ginger on my sushi. I don't know, like, uh, just. Because, like, usually I just use uh, ginger as a palate cleanser more than uh, eating it together. Messes with the flavor too much, in my opinion. Oh, good dodge. Come on, give me that finale. Oh, the victory. Sweet. the turning point. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right, just uh, one room reveal. Um, don't really value this money though. Like, if they gave more jewelry or drew tapestry, maybe. You know. Yeah. I'm not amused with that. Oh no 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 no! Wait. No. Okay. So many crimson cord eggs everywhere. I ain't touching them. Oh, not a not again. Not again. Okay. Right, and jump. the way Some is of these. lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh no. This can turn out to be one of the worst things ever. Oh boy, we're in for it. Yeah, I got no choice. I got to transform here. I need the damage. Now the question is, do I go for the big one or the small ones? Destroyed. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. And the 
So we have to go up the finale again. Decimated. I watch for Cytokinesis, which is what I'm worried about. I wonder if I could just DPS this down in time. time of day where I'm banking on a 15% chance of stun. Oh yes! Damn. The ground oh breaks. wait, we got a chance now, okay. Nice. Oh my god, it was exactly on point too. Intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered okay. Uh, no scouting yet, unfortunately. Let's just check this out and see what it is. Blood Violin or Ruby? Mm -hmm. I want a Ruby. Uh, we can ditch one torch. We got, a, we got a lot of distance, uh, or we don't have too much backtracking to do if we pick wrong either way. I don't think I'll use a bandage on here because I think I'll need everything I can get once we get to the brigands. It. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, we can't really do much, so pray for that stun. Devastating blow. Resisted. Uh, I think I want to kill the maggots first before they get stressed and stuns everywhere. Damn. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, everyone's quad dodging lately. Oh, who dodges? Let's just see how this luck holds up though when we get to the boss eventually. Stress management. Ah, Marvels are stressed out. Mm. Um, 30. So that's still 40% chance of stun. I think I'll do it though, because I still want the Shield Burger to kill the Maggot. Damn. Damn. Low roll on everything. Oh, some resistance. The mind. Okay, now we can focus on the ghoul. I will stun you. Damn it. Okay, what's more damage? And the 19. Masterfully executed. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, of course you get. You are a stun magnet. Yeah, I can see why. Oh, right, right. Because of the craving, that reduces it a little bit. Yeah, I can see why, like, the districts help. Or at least attempt to help with some weaknesses, because Vestals, it's stunned like they're nothing. Uh. Uh, transform? I mean, we could just rest and do team wide heals, so. Fair. I don't want to waste the turn anyways. Why not lethal? Their cursed champion falls. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Mm, I don't know what's in this room.
just in case. Yeah, we we do have to decide. Oh man, I'm gonna pick the longer way. Root strikes again. Okay, now you're wasting away. A fortune, waiting to be spent. Chance, please. Ah, it's a fight. Uh, Red in the mark. Where, where are we? Where? There. Ah, okay, I was gonna wear that, that different label. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I watched for the runs. Zero so stun, no problem. I need to take care of the one in the back before it becomes a major issue. Uh, you're probably light resistant too. Mm, I don't want to transform too much. A powerful blow. Oh, injury. That's How not good. Fear. Oh, one round of Ren the Mark coming right up. DPS is a bit slow. Yeah, that's it. That's there. It is. I was wondering when we'll get that crit rend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to transform here. I need that burst heal. Oh, and a crit burst heal too. God, they still do a ton of damage though, even when transformed. Oh, it's not like it adds protection or anything. Okay, the mark is off. Thank God. If only there were crit stress heals. I would love a blood their string. Actually, wait, maybe I could take a second one. Because let's say I go to the Crimson Court. I could put on two blood their strings, even though that will severely limit my healing. That means I only need two food for per food check. Alright, did I go the right way? Nah, I picked the wrong way. Ah, I gotta go back. At least the scouting saved me time though, so I'm happy about Drop! Reactivated. Hmm. Nah, 
Yeah, you're more likely. Yeah, I love the Bloodthirst thing. <laughs> like, really helped me out a lot in a lot of earlier missions. Oh. Ambushed by foul invention. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Uh, I think I'll go with dim light this time, because I'm probably gonna use a fire camp here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and they're so surprised. Alright. Turn one. Work around the stealth. Buff up for next turn. The guaranteed kills. Uh, there's no point in illuminating when you're gonna die, so we can stun any one of these guys for a chance. Aww. But, like, that minus 10% resist is basically making the Vestal the stun useless. Body and brain. Yeah. I, I'm definitely going to hate fighting these guys again when we get to the Brigand. Since they're going to summon up the champion versions of them, right? This is gonna suck. Ooh, nice crit. Is that is that lethal? That is lethal. Nice. Here for one. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Alright, so we've basically got the secured now, so I just need a stress heal. We need holy water for this. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Yeah. Actually, wait, hold on. Because like, how am I gonna sort out camping? Because if I sort out camping. Because I kinda wanna do uh psych up for damage. That's gonna be a problem since we have a religious person that will get super stressed. Maybe I'll check it out afterwards. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Alright, so for sure we definitely have to prevent nighttime ambushes to not screw things up. I definitely want snakeskin for that protection, for sure. Now, do I get armor piercing? Actually, wait. Uh, actually, I think ar would armor piercing be better than psych up? Because I know it's twenty five percent damage, but we can kind of work around that. That end. Some of the brigand, uh, brigand enemies have protection on them, right? Maybe that could work. Although, I am giving up Tiger's Eye. Maybe it's not necessary given his base damage is pretty high when transformed. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just give, uh, get Tiger's Eye. And then 
I can cure the Vestal with the rest of the stress and then use the holy water on the fountain. Maybe I should focus more on buffs. In Radiance, may we find victory. All right, I'm ready. All right, how are we gonna do? Or how are we doing on skills? So, Adder's Kiss. Uh, we can pull something just in case. No impale. I don't. But we had Twilight Dreamer, so we don't need to worry about stealth. We don't really mark. We still have our Aegis Scales. That's fine. Finale. Alright, time to eat food and go in. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Here they are. Oh, I knew it. They do have the facilities that are invisible. Okay, first things first. I I need to go stun stun this guy. The light, Damn. The promise of safety. That's what I'm worried about. Mm. Oh, this is one hell of a way to start off the fight. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I can. Nice. Hmm. Nah, nah, heal. Hmm. Can the cannon didn't fire. That's because I killed the pyro, because the pyro guy right here, he's the one that lights the fuse. So if I can kill him before he lights the fuse, I don't have to worry about the cannon firing. But th the problem is that I don't have enough DPS, so that these two are preoccupied with adds, and I really want to remove this facilier. Because if I can remove the facilier and this corpse, then it would only be the pyro spawning. Then if I can get them lined up the way I would want them to be, then I can have the Abomination kill the Brigand every time, or the Pyro every time, and then have the uh, Shield Breaker focus on the 16 pounder right here to ignore that 25% protection with Pierce. But I can't do that right now because I'm preoccupied with these guys right here. And there's no turns left and he will fire, so I have to go for the Brigand and hope for a good crit. Nice. Yeah, even if you like even if they light up the cannon, there's a slight chance that it won't fire. But that's a very slight chance that you do not want to bank on. Although the first time I fought the brigand, eight pounder, there was a misfire. So that was pretty lucky. Ooh, nice. Actually, I'm conflicted. Do I just let it fire? Because I'm not. I'm not gonna make any progress if I keep doing this.
Hmm. Okay, because I need to think about it right now, because... Do I just go for the damage and... And bear with it? Because otherwise I'd be in a... One long fight, and if I remember correctly, you get stressed out from having too long a fight. Uh, light a fire and pray. Kill the pyro, but never end the cycle. Or I can just kill the pyro again and hope it doesn't spawn too many ads. Because if I remember correctly, from the last fight, like uh, there's just an additional chance to spawn a pyro with addition of brigand maybe so maybe if i can keep down the amount of adds to manageable levels i can do this maybe mm. long term it, uh, we'll, we'll just build up damage on on rake and finale yeah, that is true. I could just keep raking and then build it up to a certain point. Yeah, let, let's see what happens if we go for the long con here. Oh wait, I thought that there wasn't a turn left. <laughs> I'm dumb. Let's go stun you to prevent damage and you resist it. Ooh, dodge. Okay, so is, are you just gonna spawn one or two? Just one. Okay, okay. That's manageable. So we still have our rake damage up. Yeah, it's gonna be a long slog, but I mean... It's progress. I kind of wanted to have the rolls reverse, but I mean, he does have the AoE cleave. And we can keep down the stress levels on the Abomination to good levels. As well as potentially attempting to stun this guy. Thank you. Now you're gonna spawn one or two. You spawn two this time. Yeah, so it's completely random whether or not you do one or the other. Let's get more crit damage and everything off. I'd say... Let's say we go try stunning you, because I want to shoot the Facilier, and you resist it, damn. Okay, actually this is one of the towns where I wish I had Impale, funnily enough. Don't worry, like, once we wear this guy down, uh, we'll be able to just deal with the Facilier and the Pyro and still rake it up every time. We'll get there. This takes a little bit of time. These things, they take time. Ooh, double crit with that too. Uh, the heal is not going to do too much. Oh, fuck. Get it. Oops. The green. Quad dodge! <laughs> oh, you just replaced one with there's a corpse. <laughs> Alright. Risking that anymore. <laughs> uh, 
stun on you because I don't want blanket fire. Damn it! I wish you could take off trinkets mid combat. Debuffs for dodge. Seventy-five percent rake damage though. Yeah, I need to remove that minus dodge. Actually, we could go for Finale, but our Rake... Mm. Actually, maybe in hindsight I should have backed away and gave space. Uh, I'll do that next turn. So next turn I'll back up with the Shield Breaker using Adder's Kiss. I wasn't keeping track of my rake stacks. Or, uh, not rake stacks, the, uh, finale stacks, I mean. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Yeah, I definitely could have played this out a bit faster. Oh, interesting. So if it doesn't summon up two, then it replaces the corpse. Oh. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay, fine. We're gonna we're gonna have to waste a turn and slam them. Oh, I want to waste two turns. Oh my god, we got the whole crew back. End it. Okay, we can just dive straight forward now. Nice. Go. Go for it. Two off lethal. Fuck. Uh, we get debuff for minus dodge. That's not good. Slice and dice. More minus. Bleed. Less RG. <gasps> Misfire! Oh! Oh, Misfire! Oh, shit! That was so lucky! Fuck it. End it. <laughs> End it with God's light or something. Oh. metal and splintered wood at home amongst the headstones. I think the vessel will get the final blow. Remind yourself oh, your slow and insidious <laughs> killer. We're done here, boys. I did not need as many bandages as as I thought. We definitely kept the ads in check. Alright! Alright, alright, let's see. For all of our hard work, I can't wait to see what good quirk gets replaced and what negative quirk we get instead. Extra swing, replace that. <gasps> Ooh! Wait, 5 accuracy overall. Oh! Wait, I'm locking this in. Apes ground your fast here. Okay, that's kind of a neutral change. Not neither good nor bad. All right. The degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Okay, we are so close. We just need the drowned crew, and then. Uh, okay, maybe not the Darkest Dungeon just yet, because we still got some unfinished business at the Crimson Courts. Oh, 
That was the luckiest 16 pounder fight I've seen. <laughs> oh my god. Three robot bosses. Well, technically two or actually, well, I'm guessing there would be more bosses in the Darkest Dungeon, but uh, uh excluding Darkest Dungeon, because I'm counting that as its own category. <laughs> Two more bosses, cause I'm ignoring the sleeper, cause I really don't care about the farmstead. Like, it's nice, but it's such an isolated kind of DLC where it's its own thing. Where I'm so sick and tired of this end game progression that I don't want to find out what the sleeper is. But yeah, we're almost there. And all right, the thing from the stars isn't. Uh, here, so we can actually go over to the cove and start something. Although, as nice as the vintage rupee, do I have one? Oh no, I think I sold it since I have enough blood bonds to keep me set for a while. Sleeper doesn't count. I mean, like, it's not like uh, this whole list here really counts for getting to the darkest dungeon because after you do the initial prologue stuff you can just go in right away even at level zero so, so you can basically end the game whenever you want if i remember correctly it's just you want to die early or do you want to go through the whole long slog to prepare and build up uh for this moment and oh boy we have built up for this moment <laughs> For a long, long time, and I don't want to look back at my VODs to figure out when the first day of this playthrough is. Because this has been going on for a long time. But yeah, we are so close. The Cove... We should have enough invites, since I shouldn't care about loot at this stage, to make it to the Countess. And then after that, we got the Darkest Dungeon. In time, oh, you will know the tragic extent of my Ooh. failings. Marvelous. I already have that. Oh, no, no, I don't. Oh, wait, no, no, I do have it, but it's a different item. Where is it? Debuff, damage, minus healing. Debuff, damage, minus healing. <laughs> it's the same thing, except for one line. And some numbers. Uh. Alright, for sure I am locking in this thing for summer. And I can tell that this will screw with me once I go to the Crimson Court because there are a lot of bottles of, well, blood and wine bottles that you'll end up drinking. So, definitely locking this in. Gonna remove Tone Death because even if it's just minus one stress heal from... Actually, how much is it? Yeah, minus one stress heal from this is actually still pretty annoying in the long run. It would have helped if I made a Darkest Dungeon playlist. I mean, I, I, mean, I do have the Darkest Dungeon playlist. I mean, like on my YouTube boss, I have it like right here. Uh, just give me a second to pull it up if you want. Yeah, like uh, I don't have like I don't have the vods on Twitch because it's just too annoying to set up a playlist on there. Like, anytime I try to search up like my previous highlights to reorganize playthroughs, uh, on Twitch itself, like. It doesn't search properly. I don't know what search engine they're using, but I can't even find my own videos correctly on there. Like, say like I was looking at my old Advanced Wars playthrough and wanted to do a collection of my parts on there, right? So then I search up Advanced Wars and I'd see some of the videos. But then after I scroll down one page worth of videos, it just brings me back my most recent highlights. And at the time, like, I was seeing all of my Tales of Berseria stuff or some other playthroughs. I'm like, I searched up Advance Wars. Only give me stuff 
that says Advance Wars. But then it keeps giving me everything else as if I was just searching through my entire highlight history. So that's why I don't do like VOD collections or highlights on Twitch because it, it doesn't work. So basically if you don't make the playlist from day one of your playthrough where it should be organized by date, then if you look back at very old playthroughs that you've highlighted and kept in your archive to bundle up straight on Twitch instead of having to have your viewers or whatever go onto YouTube, like, we wouldn't be having... or actually I'm kind of forgetting what I'm saying, but... Yeah, like, if Twitch's playlist and search thing was working properly, <laughs> we wouldn't be having this problem. But, cause like, uh, cause like, some ideas that I wanted to, or that I had at the time when I was leaving on, like, holiday breaks or some other things, like, I was thinking about having, like, a collection of a lot of my old uh, Twitch VODs and other stuff of old playthroughs that people probably wouldn't have seen at some point. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll put some of the really old stuff up or some of the new stuff up, depending on the game, and then I'll kind of leave a long playlist to play while, uh, while I'm gone. Because... There, uh, because we got a lot of parts to go through. <laughs> but then, yeah, I never really got around to doing that anymore because it just doesn't, it's too much of a hassle. But yeah, if, if you want, here's the direct playlist for the Darkest Dungeon stuff. I, I still gotta catch up on the past couple streams of VODs. Kind of falling behind on that, actually. But... Yeah, <laughs> too much of a hassle to show stuff on, or collect everything on Twitch. And I think I remove Tone Death. And can you bloodthirsty stress I think I want to remove... Mm. Actually no, didn't I have other people I wanted to prioritize? Ice cream, talk about it. Mine. Face. Black. Hitler. No, I thought I had other people that I wanted to add into here. Oh well. And in terms of stress, how are we doing? Not too bad. Everyone's at minimal stress. Maintenance is on an all time low. Alright, but I think I'm good. I think I'm good here for tonight, guys. <laughs> uh, but we definitely made a lot of progress. We killed the prophet, and we actually killed the 16 pounder all in one stream, which is pretty nice. And we're almost there, paving the way to the countess and the drowned crew. I'm kind of worried about how the drowned crew will play out, but we'll see. But anyways, I'm gonna go turn off the game and send this off, so one moment guys. <laughs>